Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. So in the previous video I did get a rating and as I was mentioning I was in the gold, uh, uh, I was given a placement in the gold league. I did not expect that for sure. Um, I expected myself to be in low silver, high bronze or maybe mid silver at the very best, but gold is pretty good. Uh, however, after that, yesterday I was recording a video and uh, I, it was a very competitive game. I think the game was already 45 minutes long and uh, all four of us were on seven points or maybe eight points and I had some internet issue. My browser froze and uh, I got disconnected. So, if you notice here, I did lose a karma and I also lost that game. Uh, yeah, this is the game that I'm talking about. So yeah, this says that I did not finish the game, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if it was my internet or just the browser, but it was a very competitive game. As you can see, the duration is pretty long. Uh, anyway, so in this game, uh, I am in the fourth position. Here immediately I see that there is a lot of wheat available, quite some amount of uh, wheat, sorry, ore available as well. Not a lot of sheep. Uh, so based on that, I think I can just go for a setup like 639834. I will be grabbing the best we sheep best ore and the best wheat along with some wood and brick. Um, yeah, I surely like that setup here. My other choice would be to go for something like maybe 6311 and um, 693. Try and get to the wood port and to the wheat port. And with double sixes, I believe I will be having a decent wheat production. I am very surprised that orange went for 8510. I don't think orange gains too much out of that spot. He does have a lot of ore, but uh, maybe he will make use of the ore port because I don't see orange being able to get a decent amount of sheep and wheat uh, combined on this board at this point. Yeah, here red is thinking about it quite a bit. Completely agree. Uh, red is in a difficult position. That said, I think A34 seems to be a fine choice for red. Red can be assured that he will be getting either this 6 or the other 6 later on. Goes for 6311 and um, I am more than happy with that placement because I get my ideal setup here. Uh, 639, 6834. I do produce all 5 resources. Uh, and I also mentioned I have the best ore wheat sheep setup here some wood and uh, some brick. So surely not something that I would complain about. Just make my placements very quick and easy. I would want a lot of threes to roll in this game, giving me brick and sheep. And I also think going towards the sheep port could be a choice, uh, which might be fine. I will be able to get to the 3 to 1 port for sure. And based on this first placement, I think the only option red has is going for 5-4-11 as their second choice. Eight three four is also an option, but uh, yeah, maybe go to 8 3 4 and build on the wheat uh, on the wood port. Or maybe 834 point downwards and try and get to 
but i don't think 54 will be open uh, i think green can easily go for 5411 if it is left open so red will not have the choice of going for 54 yeah Yeah, the more I think about it, I think maybe red can also go for something like uh, 9, 10, 2, point to the right and get towards 5, 2. But then that leaves either orange or green with a option of going for 8, 3, 4. And I believe orange will go for it. Start with a code in hand. Yeah, so here as expected, red does go for 5, 4, 11. And orange can easily go for 834. Pretty strong setup. Here, green, I think, has the only choice of 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I don't think anything else would make any sense at this point. They will also be, green will also be able to get to the 3 to 1 port quite easily. Wow, actually this goes towards the ore there. Cutting off orange. I don't think that's the right move. Uh, according to me, 9, 10, 11 would have been slightly better. Have some sheep rather than no sheep at all. Here. I think I would like to go towards the sheep port early on in the game that would also increase my ore production that said the 8 ore will be blocked quite a bit so maybe i should think about going towards the 6 uh, wheat the 6 wheat won't be blocked as much as the 8 ore because 8 ore is shared by two people so yeah in this case i will go towards the 3 to 1 port for now Green roll the 7. I think green will block the 8 ore. Or maybe, yeah, I think 8 ore is the only choice here. Hopefully, it doesn't steal my brick. Uh, it's a resource that I don't produce a lot of. Yeah. It does steal from me and. Uh, Here, yeah, nobody has any wheat in hand, especially because sixes and nines haven't rolled. Green does have one wheat because he started on the two tile. A nine rolls here. I need a six to roll. Unfortunately, an eight rolls here. Uh, let's see, I can if I can get this trade. I don't need a one is to two. Uh, maybe a trade like this. Or at the very least, just accept, just go for a 1 is to 1. I don't need to be this aggressive early on. Yeah, I do get this trade. And because sixes haven't rolled, I have to go for a trade. And that's it. I, still, I do get my settlement. Yeah, I wouldn't want any fives to roll this game. I don't get anything. Whereas red, green and uh, orange all get an over out of it. So now green is in a very strong position because each five will basically green, give green two ores. Mm, yeah, let's see if I can get a one is to two. Uh, one is to one doesn't help me much. Okay, so I do get a one, uh, one is to two here, getting a sheep and a brick. And I surely don't mind that uh, offer here, especially because both those resources are quite rare for me. Yeah, 
here i think now just building towards the sheep port is a fine choice and i'll end my turn yeah the eight block is hurting me quite a bit i have lost out on i think two or three ores already Wow, green accepts a one is to one trade with orange. So yeah, I mean green is making quite good progress in the game so far. He is getting the trades that he wants. Hopefully, red rolls a seven. I think that would be the best case scenario. It yeah, does roll a seven, so red loses out on four cards, and most likely will block the five over here. I think red should also be worried about green plowing. Uh, sorry, orange plowing red here. Wow, solo blocks me, which is wow. Your I will surely offer a one is to two. A uh, one is to one doesn't help me in any way at all. So yeah, so it doesn't accept a one is to one. I surely did not expect me to be blocked. And with green getting three rolls with every five rolls, uh, and also the over port, I think green is in a very strong position here. So if a single six or a two rolls, I think green can easily get a settlement. Sorry, get another city. Yeah, I would love to get a monopoly this game. Uh, I mean, if a couple of fives roll, playing a monopoly would be a huge move there. Also, I would want a nine and a three to roll just so that I can get a dev card and a settlement on my turn. A nine does roll here, so now if a three rolls, I will be able to get my settlement and the dev card that I'm looking for. Surely not doing a one is to one with red. Okay, it does accept a trade with me. Giving me a sheep and a ore. Another nine rolls here, and let's see if I can get any trade. I don't think I will. Orange accepts it, and uh, yeah, I'll just accept the trade as well. This increases my ore production. Green roll the seven. I think green will be blocking the eight over and stealing from me. Green might block the three brick or the four wood, but I think the eight over seems to be a fine choice here. Yeah, exactly does that. And yeah, does steal from me as well. So uh, pretty much expected this to happen on this turn. And green already has their second city here. I would want a few sixes to roll. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get any of those rolls. Yeah, and again losing out on a couple of ores. Green will now start collecting dev cards, I believe. Uh, So 
so yeah can easily get a settlement after the, doing a 6 is to 3 there converting all their ore into the resource that they want let's see if orange is able to cut off red here a 4 did roll so and an orange is still looking for a word which is a little surprising to me here I will surely offer a 1 is to 2 or maybe a 1 is to 2 instead just goes for the longest road here I think just blocking a uh, green is completely alright And I cannot do much with the cards I have in hand. A 6 finally does roll. I mean that's a rare 6 in this game so far. I will trade it for a ore. Uh, actually I don't want to trade with green. Yeah, luckily he cancels it. Once I get my city on um, before I will be in a very strong position as well. So here I would want a couple of H to roll. Oh uh, yeah, I surely do not mind this trade. Wow, well, another 6 rolls but not enough to distribute so nobody gets anything there. So yeah, I mean as I've already mentioned like getting... Yeah. So as I've already mentioned, like getting a monopoly on this board would be very very huge. Uh, playing a monopoly either on ore or wheat seems to be a huge move. Here are three rolls, and maybe I might be able to cut red off. Uh, sorry, cut green off here. If not, I think I'll just go for a city at this point. Oh uh, yeah, I think just getting a city is a better option for now. Here, yeah, I mean, I can still build a couple of roads if needed. Yeah, because nobody is trading with me. Yeah, I think I'll just hold on to these cards. I know it's a risky move. But now, if a single 8 rolls, I will be able to get another city. And I'm pretty sure nobody will be... Uh, nobody will be blocking... Nobody will be trading with green. Green already seems to be in a very strong position. I think green will still be able to do a 3 to 1 with all the wheat that they have in hand. I am really surprised that nobody has uh, any dev cards in this game. But I think that's all because of the lack of sheep so far.
Roll the 11. I don't get much out of it. The 5 block seems to be a good block here. Yeah, here I think. Because red is going to cut off green, I think I will accept it. Instead, I just roll a 10, so I cannot do much. Uh, so at this point, I think I can just build a road and do nothing with it. But I think just holding on to these cards is fine for now as well. Green plays their first monopoly, will continue to target me, I believe. Yeah, does do that. Roll the 5, should be able to get another dev card in this turn. Because they stole a wheat, they can just convert their ore into a sheep and get another dev card. Instead goes for a city, which is a little surprising. So yeah, I mean, fives have been rolling quite a lot in this game, but as compared to that, very few. Actually, I yeah, don't want to trade with green. Green is already on seven and is in a much stronger position than I am in. Wow. So yeah, I mean, I'm just being let down by the rolls, I would say. Very few fives, very few. Uh, let's see if I can get two of these. I will accept any one is to two for sure. Uh, not a two is to two. I mean, all I'm trying to do is get a dev card on my turn. Wow. Another five rolls here. So absolutely nothing that I can do. With. Green should be able to get a few dev cards this turn. Wow, green just keeps on going for cities, which is surprising. But all he needs is two knights. He can easily get that. Yeah, I think it's just GG now. So yeah, I end the game in the third position. I mean, all of us are in five, on five points. Yeah, yeah, the die statistics are completely unfair here. Six rolled only four times. Eight rolled five times, but I think it was blocked for half the game. And I mean, yeah, the statistics just shows everything like uh, green made complete use of all the fives that rolled. Also nines, I mean, yeah, nines helped green quite a bit as well. So green just got lucky in this game and absolutely nothing that I could have done. Only one night played in the entire game, which is very surprising. Yeah, but that's how it is sometimes. Yeah, when it comes to resource production, green is more than double of anyone else. Yeah, almost double of anyone else. So there is no competition in this game at all. Yeah, and that's how it is. So in the last game, it was very competitive, but I lost due to disconnection. As I was showing, yeah, my karma is on 19. And in this game, uh, 
I lose. I don't think my setup was bad in any way. It's just it was just too slow as compared to green. I mean, green just kept excuse me kept on rolling fives. So, although a couple of matches ago I was placed at around eleven hundred, but I think I have gone down to thirteen fifty nine now. But uh, that's how it is. I will try and win the next few games, get back on the winning run, and. Uh, Hopefully, rise to the top hundred soon. Anyway, uh, bye for now, and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.